A warm welcome to all our TBET lecturers. I'm Prashan Ramdas from Macmillan, and today I will tell you about the changes to the building and structural construction N5 curriculum and demonstrate how the TVET First Students' Book and Lecturer's Guide will help you implement the new curriculum perfectly. The TVET First series is approved by the DHET. The DHET has set August 2022 as the implementation date and you will need new approved textbooks to teach the correct curriculum. This logo, Revised Curriculum 2022, tells you that you have the correct book. Let's begin with an overview of the updated Building and Structural Construction N5 curriculum. The new curriculum has three aims, to give students good background knowledge of the theory and methodology of building and structural construction, to introduce students to the technological principles and practices in the building and structural construction industry, and to provide students with the knowledge and skills used for structural design in the industry. The syllabus for building and structural construction N5 has been fully updated for the modern workplace. Where the old syllabus was divided into two sections and 10 modules, the new curriculum is organized into seven modules with specified content and learning outcomes. Module three combines concrete beams, slabs, and floor finishes, which were previously in separate modules. Bending schedules are now in module five and structural steel work is now in Module 6. Module 7, which covers design work, is a new module, which incorporates the old modules 1, 2, 3, and 4 of Section B of the previous curriculum. Balcony design, which was part of Module 5 on design work in the previous curriculum, has been removed. The general construction of steel fire escapes for two-story buildings is no longer mentioned under the topic of staircases. In addition, wooden staircases no longer appear in the syllabus. That was an overview of important curriculum changes. Now let's take a look at the features of TVET First Building and Structural Construction N5 that will help your students to succeed. Let's start with the student's book. The student's book has clear explanations which are written in accessible language. We have also provided lots of language support and all new terms are clearly explained in context. This means that students for whom English is not a home language will find it easy to get through the course content. The book uses a simple step-by-step -step approach to drawing components. This step-by-step -step method will guide students to successfully produce the sketches required for tests and exams. There are varied activities for each section ensuring that students have lots of practice in all the methods they need to master. The student's book includes links to selected videos on the internet to explain difficult sections of work or provide extra enrichment. There are plenty of photographs and diagrams to support learning. Each module ends with a summary. Students can review all the summaries when they revise for exams to remind themselves of all the key information and skills. Each module also has a summative assessment modeled on exam questions, and these provide exam preparations and practice. For these reasons, the TVET First Students' Book is ideal. But no good series is complete without a lecturer's guide, and TVET First has a comprehensive lecturer's guide to accompany the Students' Book. The lecturer's guide provides resources and support to reduce preparation and marking time for lecturers, which allows lecturers to focus on where they are needed, which is teaching and supporting students. The lecturer's guide includes an overview of the learning outcomes and how the student's book covers them. It has a photocopyable lesson plan template for lecturers to use. Most importantly, the lecturer's guide includes comprehensive answers to all student book activities and provides clear label diagrams where they are needed. Choose the best support available for this curriculum implementation. Choose TVET first.